Hi, I'm Michelle Carrico from MQ Training in Napa, California, and I'm here to teach you how to help your horse stand still while mounting. So one of the first things you should consider if your horse is walking off a lot is to make sure your horse does not have any back pain and your tack and equipment fit properly. Before mounting, always make sure to check your cinch. Always tighten your cinch before mounting to keep the saddle in place and to prevent your saddle from slipping to the side and hurting your horse's back. So when mounting, I like to lead my horses up to the mounting block, but I don't want to get too close to where if the horse was to panic, the block would interfere and cause an accident. And I don't want to get too far away where I have to do a big reach. If I'm mounting from the left-hand side, I always want to make sure I tip my horse's head a little towards me. So if she decides to take off, I can pull up on her, turn her head, ask her to stop. A horse with its head turned is not going to go very far. Quietly mount up into the saddle and slowly release the pressure. After I mount my horse, I like to sit and keep my horse in park. I don't want my horse to think the mounting block is automatically a sign of work. I want her to think the mounting block is a safety point and a place where we relax and rest. So she'll be calm and quiet and have a clear mind. So when I'm ready to walk off, I want my horse to respond to my cue to walk off. A lot of us get in the saddle, shift our weight, a horse thinks automatically walk forward. Your horse should stand still. Rock your weight, flip the reins, shake your legs, this horse should not move. When I want to go forward, the cue to walk forward is the cue to go forward. Because I always like to keep my horses thinking, I don't walk off in a straight line. I'll maybe do a circle, back up, do a slight rollback and turn the other way. I don't want them to think go forward is automatically run and go forward. I also want her to think the mounting block is a place of safety and relaxation. So when I do decide to ride off, we work over here. I'll work my horse away from the block, give her something to think about and do, and then take her back to the mounting block and have her rest. I want her to think the mounting block is a safe place. We stop, we stand, we go and park, and we chill out. So if my horse decides to walk off with me, I'll do things to make her life more difficult, to make her think that idea was a bad idea. Things such as turning her in a tight circle, maybe even making her back up. I want her to put her focus back on me and not on the idea of we're gonna straight walk off. I want her to sit, think, and be quiet first. So I'll go back to the mounting block sit and stand, put her in park to reinforce that the mounting block is not a place of work. I'll dismount, give her a little pet, she's good, tip her head, mount again. Consistency is the key to teach your horse to be quiet while mounting.